Karen's diner is fucking vile. First, one of their male employees literally did this onto a little girl. Then another employee had accused a father of being a P word. And now we are going to be talking about a woman who was literally bullied and harassed for her hair color until she could not stop crying. It was really horrible. It was really uncomfortable. Um, I was expecting them to be like Karens, but Karens are more like they play the victim. You know, they're like, oh, that's offensive to me. Oh, I have a disability. You can't talk to me like that. Ah, your Doberman bit me. You know, that kind of thing. But instead, they just, they just literally bullied me like a lot about my hair. They said some horrible things and they weren't even like creative about it. They were just like, oh, filthy wranger. Like, what are you doing here? Like, and hair fix, blah, 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 blah. And I hadn't been talked to to like that since high school and it was really oh, I'm getting choked up it was really triggering and I actually started crying when the waitress was speaking to me like that and I started crying and I asked her to stop and she said no and she just kept going <laughs> um yeah it was just low blows and it wasn't funny and it wasn't enjoyable and unfortunately, I would not recommend anyone to go to Karen's. This is a diner that, you know, has a reputation, of course, for being a quote unquote Karen to their customers. However, they have really taken it to a whole other level. When I was first invited to, I guess you could say, the premiere of Karen's Diner, you know, of course I had to go. And when I went, the employees were, you know, acting like the regular Karens, being mean to you, whatever. It's the whole point of the diner. I get it. However, it comes to a whole new level when you see employees literally taking drinks from people's table, drinking them. There was even a woman who spit in another woman's drink while she was eating her hamburger. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who wants to level up in their creativity, their skills. Let it flourish here on Skillshare. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. Skillshare is literally the best platform that you can learn new skills on. You see, because it is completely ad-free, because, you know, I don't want to be distracted while I'm trying to level up in life, thanks. So you can girl boss while you're in the zone. There is new premium classes launched every week, so there's always something new to discover and learn. Plus, the entire catalogue is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. As you all know, I am currently taking the fashion designing class. And here are some pictures of what I have recently made. Skillshare has brought out something in me that I never even thought I would want to do in my entire life. And that is what is so freaking cool about Skillshare. I am currently taking classes from Bella Vance NYC. So the first thousand people to use my link down in the description box below is going to get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Yep, that's right, a free one month trial of Skillshare. So what are you waiting for? Girl boss, now. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. You even see employees taking food from people's table and start eating it. But you know, that's okay because it's Karen's diner. You know, I feel like they have taken it so far that they are seriously going to be shut down soon. It's like there's two sides of this coin, right? One side is you shouldn't go to Karen's diner if you, you know, don't want to be treated a certain way, okay? But there is another side where it's like, holy fuck, that is so triggering and traumatizing, right? To go into a restaurant expecting them to act like Karen's. However, they're literally taunting you and harassing 
harassing you and basically just taking the mig. Just taking the absolute piss because, you know, it's Karen's diner. We can do whatever the fuck we want. Like, I'm sorry, but I didn't know that this diner would entail such poor fucking behavior. At the end of the day, if you want to go and pay for a meal where you're verbally abused and you're made to feel like an absolute piece of shit, you know, it's kinky or whatever. Do, do you, baby. But at the same time, there is a responsibility that they have to hold where it's like, sometimes too far is just too far. And, you know, attacking someone's physical appearance, I didn't know that that was a part of, you know, the protocol to do. It's funny because if any of this had have happened to me the night that I went, I would have loved that because I'm, I can be really fucking mean. All right, I can be really mean. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to flip the question to you now. How do you feel about all of this Karen's Diner discourse at the moment? Have you been to Karen's Diner and had a really upsetting experience? Let me know here because I would love to hear your story. And if it's like really bad, Y you want to do an interview? So yeah, with that being said, I am gone. Stay safe out there and most of all, love your fucking selves.